Please welcome Mike Lyons. Today I'm going to be uh, training with a good buddy of mine, uh, Johnny Sharif, uh, who's getting ready for the Masters Olympia 212. We're going to do some chest and uh, let's see if we can get him on the right road to the Olympia. So let's get it. Uh, I know. They're just, just controlled, you know what I mean? I'm going to be sore as fuck from legs yesterday. <laughs> I did four drops on leg press. Why? On my I don't know. That's the point. I don't know. And then I, was, I just got it in my head. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go out and do walking lunges with the sandbag on my back and superset it with seated hamstrings. That, that, that football player came out. Yeah, it just it snapped in. <laughs> and I had a crowd of kids looking at me like, just shaking, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then I'm like, well, now I have to. Like, you got to have one of those. Like, I got those, it now. One of those shorts, like reality versus what, what you, <laughs> you think you're doing it really nice. You're like, reality, you're just kind of like doing this out there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Your mind's like, oh, I got this. I got it. What's that dude doing? He's wobbling a lot. Yeah, because he can't fucking stand up. That's why. There you go. Come on. Three. Good. Come on. All right. Good. I feel lats. I feel lats. Come on. Nice. Good. Let's go. Good. Good. I was just like always reminiscent on how like hard it was to get your pro card. Like the amount of people you you go like one every year is one pro card for like every damn class. Yeah. And everyone's really good. Yeah. Like really good. I got. I was telling the boys here that around here right now is, unfortunately, when they got rid of provincials, yeah, all the competitiveness that we had back then, yeah, because everyone used to be like, "Where's Nova Scotia come from? Why are they yeah. year after year after yeah. year having yeah. pro guys?" Yeah, and that was my one answer. I was like, "Because we fucking go to provincials and we know there's eight guys, yeah, that are national level, yeah, you got to bring it, yeah, every goddamn year, yeah, yeah, and we all stayed in provincials until we won it, and then we went up, yeah, then we showed up for nationals." already national caliber yeah. ready to go yeah and everyone's like okay what the fuck that's how i thought about it back then it was like that because when it, I, I remember like the last year i did provincials we had the class were stacked the nationals was stacked yeah you know it's like now it's like it's just i won't say it's watered down it's just not it made everybody do this instead yeah everyone like, Every year, like, I remember Kaleb, when he Kaleb turned pro, I literally was like, bro, you need to compete this year. Yeah. And he's like, all right, and he competed in our class, and he wins. Take both pro cards for me and, and Chris Bum. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Now it's like, what, what, what show do you want to win a pro card at? It's like, what? <laughs> it's like, um, we No, nah, man, I'm not doing this one because this nah, guy's doing this one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. I'm going to pick that one. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to North America. Stretch. So we're, we both have slightly different pressing techniques. Basically saying the exact same shit. Tomato, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Basically. But we're, you see the, the full stretch at the bottom. The chest will grow a little more under a load stretch. So don't miss that. That's why you need to get the full range and don't just drop it and pull it back up. Um, pull it down, stretch the chest, throw it away. Mike does a really good job of like, like showing that action. He's throwing the weight away. He's pushed out into the bench. That's a lot of like blocking. Basically, yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I've always equated it to doing a push up off the ground. Yeah. But you have a wall behind you. Yeah. So if I'm pushing off the ground, I'm not pushing the ground away. Yeah. I'm pushing the wall behind me away. Yeah. So I always think the same way here. Instead of just thinking, okay, I'm pushing the bar up, push I'm pushing down. my back through, yeah. through the bench. Yeah. So it's that. That's a, uh, I saw an analogy that one. Like I, was, I understood it from a blog standpoint, but then Dante. Um, what's his name? What do you call it? Tate. Oh, okay. Yeah. He made that reference. Yeah. At a long time, I was like, like 15 years ago or something like that. I was like, ah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm doing those block too. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just one of those things where you imagine it a certain way. At the end of the day, we're all doing the same technique. It's just how you, how you're take the kind cue. of, yeah, how you're uh, looking at it, right? Yeah. They are good. 
Let's go. That's it. That's it. Come on, come on. Nice. One more. You got it, you got it. Come on, you got it, you got it. Come on, let's go. Good. Good. That's it. Good. Yeah. Let's go more. Oh. Back in the day when we prepped, this place was banging. <laughs> yeah. And it was, and everybody was prepping. You were prepping for Everyone 12. was doing the same show. I was doing my first nationals. Yep. Uh, I don't know, everybody crazy is prepped, man. I don't know. I think the one year I did with, um, it was like, there was, there was me, Chris Bumstead, Mike, uh, Mike uh, Cipriani, uh, Dana Baker, Regan Grimes, uh, Hassan Jama. Mm -hmm. uh, who else? Um, Ritzy, he won his pro card too. Like there was, um, this is, oh my God, oh my God. Tony Searle. Oh God, yeah. Like yeah. we had, it was just stacked. Stacked. Yeah. 17 minute, that was the end of the prep. It was a 17 minute call out. Yeah. Debbie was like, like moving us around for like 10 minutes before we even started actually doing anything. Did you ever have the blackout on stage? But, no, but I was like, just I was close one time. I had my, my hip, my uh, sciatic flared up when I was going to coach with uh, Neil. Okay. And I, I couldn't activate my hamstring. So yeah. being like this, it was, I was in pain for 17 minutes. Oh. I was just like, oh, was like, oh my God. Worse. Yeah. I don't know, like, it all depends on what you signify as worst, like. Crazy, yeah, yeah. Like, the worst one emotionally um, would probably be my, the year I won Nova Scotians, 2007. Um, we did zero carbs for 14 weeks, I think. Ew. Um, at the end, I was living off of Edrin. Like, just for a mood, and like, a mood enhancer. <laughs> just to get up and do something. Uh, I remember doing cardio and uh, I think I'm pretty sure I saw Georgina. I had my navigator back then. Yeah. I was like, I will literally give you the keys if you can move the show to this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it was only like two weeks, right which was not bad. Yeah. But I was so emotionally and physically drained, I just did not, I didn't want to do another day. Yeah. That would probably be the worst one emotionally, but physically, they all suck, man. They all suck. They, and they all, <laughs> they all get worse. They all suck. Because the better, the better you get, the more you, the more you want to get leaner and drier. And then you're also putting on more muscle. So then it makes it even harder the next year because you got to <sighs> feed that muscle with less energy. And yeah. And when, knowing that. What, just because it happened last prep doesn't mean it's going to fucking happen no. this prep. No, it's like a, that, That's a big thing a lot of the younger guys think, whoa, the, the, my body reacted this way last year. No. No. It is, no. Every year is different, man. Every year is different because you, ch you change. Yeah. Your body, simply the fact that you, if you add five more pounds of muscle, your, prep, your peak weeks change. Yeah, stress level, everything, your everything environment, changes. Yeah. it all changes. Yeah.